Sa video ng ito ay papakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-factor ng quadratic trinomials ng napakadali. Meron tayong dalawang method. Simple factoring ang una. Ito ay napakadali. At alam kong alam na alam nyo na to dahil ito yung mga itinuturo noon sa mga high school. At dito sa video ng ito, i-introduce ko sa inyo ang bagong technique, AC method. Ito ay ginagamit kapag yung tisyon natin dito na A ay 2 or mas mataas pa sa 2. Let's say 3, 4, or 5. And then, it involves A and C here. Kaya nga AC method. At napakadali lang. Yung dati, ginagamitan natin ito ng trial and error. Ngayon, hindi na. We will use this AC method, which is easier. I classified quadratic trinomials into two. First, in the form of x squared plus bx plus c, where b and c are non-zero integers. This is the easy one, easy to factor. And second one, in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are non-zero integers and a is greater than 1. And this is the more difficult one. Okay, let us start factoring the trinomial in the form of x squared plus bx plus c. This can be factored by simple factoring. Example, find the factors of the following quadratic trinomials. First, x squared plus 10x plus 21. This is the simple one. To factor out this class, just uh, look at the constant term, which is 21, and the coefficient of the middle term, which is 10. So what are we going to do is to find two numbers such that when you multiply these numbers, its product is 21. And when you add, the sum is 10. So if all the signs are positive, then this will be very easy. So just find for the factors of 21. Example, we have 3 and 7. When you multiply that, that is 21. When you add, that is 10. And is there other factors? Okay, 1 and 21. But when you add 1 and 21, that is not equal to 10. So the answer for this we have the 7 and 3. The product is 21 and the sum is 10. So therefore, the factors are x plus 7 and x plus 3. Next, for number 2, we have x squared minus 11x plus 30x. If you can see class, the middle term is negative and the last term is positive. So therefore, we need factors which are both negative. So find the factors for 30, and that is negative 6 and negative 5. You know, when you multiply this, it will result to positive 30. And when you add negative 6 plus negative 5, and that is negative 11. Therefore, the factors are x minus 6 and the x minus 5. That is x minus 6 times x minus 5 is equal to x squared minus 11x plus 30. For number 3, last term is negative, that's negative 36, middle term is positive. So, in this case, we have to look for two factors which are negative and positive. So, for 36, we will try 9 and negative 4. That's 9 times negative 4 is 36. And 9 plus negative 4 is 5. Therefore, the factors are x plus 9 and x minus 4. For number 4, okay, so the last term is negative, the middle term is negative. So just like number 3, find two factors of 40 that's negative and positive. When you add or when you subtract, the answer will be negative 3. So these numbers, I think, is negative 8 and 5. That is negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. And negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. Why? That is actually 5 minus 8 is negative 3. Therefore, the factors are x minus 8 and x plus 5. Okay, class, that is for the easy uh, factoring, the simple factoring. Second one, we have to factor out the uh, quadratic, quadratic trinomial in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, c are um, non-zero integers, and a must be greater than 1. Okay, so we can factor this using the what they call AC method, 
AC because we're going to look for A and C. Okay, so let's have this example. Find the factors of the following quadratic trinomials. Okay, let's start with number 1. That is uh, 2x squared plus 13x plus 21. So all positive. So first thing we have to do, just multiply these two here and 21 there. Then the product is, I think, 42. That's 2 times 21 is 42. After getting the product, that is actually the AC. Okay, the product of AC, that's 42. And now, we have to factor this 42 in such a way that when you add, the answer must be the mid coefficient of the middle term, which is 13. So what is that, fa what is that factors of 42? That when you add, it will give you 13. Okay, 7 and 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. So next thing, we are going to um, separate or, yes, uh, break down this 13x into 2. Okay? Uh, we, we can make that 7x and 6x like that. So the 13x there becomes 7x and 6x. We have now the four terms. Okay, next. We will group the first two terms and then the last two terms. Anyway, we can interchange that uh, 7 and 6 in any way. We can have the similar result. Okay, after regrouping the first two terms and the last two terms, we're going to factor the common factors of each group. Okay, for the first group, we have 2x squared plus 7x. We can see that the common, that the common factor here is x. Okay, both term contains x, so we can factor x. We can factor out x. So factoring out x, uh, what remains inside the parenthesis is 2x plus 7. That is, we divide uh, each term by the factor. That's 2x squared divided by x is 2x. 7x divided x is 7. Okay, we will do the same thing on the second group. Factor out 6x plus 21. We can see the common factor here is a number 3. Both terms can be divided by 3. That's why we can factor out 3. So 6x divided 3, what remained is 2x. 21 divided 3, that's 7. So now, you can see from these factors, okay, they are now grouped into 2. So in each group, we can see a common factor, 2x plus 7. You can also see 2x plus 7 there. So we can factor out this group or this term. So what remained after factoring out that 2x plus 7, what remained is the x there and the 3 there. So x plus 3. That is now our final answer. The factors are 2x plus 7 and x plus 3. For number 2, we will also do the same. Okay. So first, we multiply 6 and negative 20 here. So the answer is negative 120. And then next, we have to factor out uh, or find factors of 100, negative 120 in such a way that when you add, the answer will be 7, the coefficient of the middle term. Okay, so what, what are those factors? Okay, I think they are negative 8 and 15. That's negative 8 times 15 equals negative 120. And when you add negative 8 plus 15, that is just like 15 minus 8, and that is 7. So we can now uh, separate uh, or break 7x into two terms. So it becomes negative 8x and 15x. So we write that there. Okay. So the same as the previous, we will group the first two terms and the last two terms. And then we find common factors for each group. For the first group, I think we have common factor here. For the number, we can have 2. Both terms can be divided by 2. And both terms also can be divided by x. So the common factor of this term is, or this group is, 2x. Okay, so factoring out 2x, what remains is 3x minus 4 inside. That is just we divide the terms by the factor 2x. That is 6x squared divide 2x equals 3x. Negative 8x divided by 2x equals negative 4. And we will do the same 
to the remaining group. So from here, we can see common factors here are, I think, five. Okay, factoring out 5, what remains inside is 3x minus 4. That is 15x divided by 5 is 3x. Negative 20 divided by 5 is negative 4. And now, we can see common factors for the two groups. We have 3x minus 4. So, we factor out 3x minus 4 there. And what remains is the 2x there and the 5 on the other side. That's 2x plus 5. Okay, that is now our final answer. The factors are 3x minus 4 and 2x plus 5. For number 3, okay, we will also do the same. So we multiply 4 times 6. So we have 24. And now we factor out 24 in such a way that when you add, the result will be negative 25. So since 24 is positive, we need two negative factors. And I think that is negative 24 and 1. Because when you add, it will give you negative 25. So we can now rewrite the given in four terms. Okay, so breaking down the 25, negative 25x into uh, negative x minus 24x. Okay, from the factors, negative 24 and the negative 1. Okay, and then... The group we group the first two <coughs> terms and then we also regroup the second two terms since uh, <coughs> in the second term it starts with negative so when you regroup that uh, the positive 6 will become negative 6 it is just like we divide negative 1 there it is just like we factor negative 1 okay so uh, getting the factor of the first group, we have uh, x. Common factor here is x. And uh, what remains inside is 4x minus 1. On the other group, common factor there, I think, is both terms can be divided by, uh, I think, 6. Okay, so factoring out 6, what remains is 4x minus 1. And now the purpose is actually we're going to arrive at this uh, one common factor. A binomial factor which is 4x minus 1 so we factor out that 4x minus 1 there and what remain is the x minus 6 on the other side so we have x minus 6 so the factors for the given is 4x minus 1 and x minus 6 okay so that's it for your exercises please find the factors of the following quadratic trinomials Okay, 1 to 7. Okay, for the tip class, uh, as a bonus lesson, to determine if a quadratic trinomial is factorable, we will use the value of this one, uh, b, uh, square root of b squared minus 4ac. It must be integer, otherwise the trinomial is not factorable. Example, let's get the x squared minus 6x minus 27. We will try to determine if this is factorable or not. So we have there x squared minus 6x minus 27. It means that a equals 1, b equals negative 6, and c equals negative 7. We will plug in these values into the formula. b squared minus 4ac, that will become negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 27. Okay, from, from our values here. Okay, And the answer for this is positive or negative 12. So these are integers. Therefore, we can say that the given x squared minus 6x minus 27 is factorable. Okay, for the other example, this must be example number 2. Determine if 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 is factorable or not. Okay, so getting the values for a, b, and c, we can have there 2, uh, 4, and negative 3. And then we will plug these values into the formula b squared minus 4ac. That's 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 3. That will become square root of 16 plus 24. That is the square root of 40. And we know that square root of 40 is not an integer. Or there is no integer square root for 40. So therefore, we can say that the given 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 is not factorable. Thank you for listening.
there will be more factoring techniques in the next videos.